Hey guys, good morning from uh, beautiful Geilenkirchen, Germany. And uh, I guess I guess one of the things I learned about locks is sometimes you just got to put them down and pick them up fresh the next morning. And that's what I'm hoping is going to happen here with this Winkhaus. I have a Winkhaus VS that uh, I bought in a um, locksmith store when I was visiting Adrian Weber. Really cool lock. And to be honest, the only thing I really learned about this thing last night is that it's chock full of security pins. It's got a couple of spools in it. And then it also has what I believe are either serrated or those those uh, T-pin shaped uh, pins that get hung up very, very easily. But I think I figured out a way to to defeat those. And we're going to try that this morning. You know how it is when you lay in bed and think about things. There's what the bidding looks like. So the bidding's not going to do us any favors on this one. There are some side pins, as you see, but those are purely profile control. They're not active pins. We only have to worry about the six normal pin tumblers. Beautiful lock. Brand new. Uh, I did get it in the box, but it's a it's an older box. Been around for a little while. But uh, anyway, the lock is brand new. So let's see if we can't get in this thing. All right, the first thing I realized is that I needed some way to tension this. Uh, and uh, I couldn't really put anything in the bottom because of those super deep set uh, cuts on some of those pins. So I had to go top of the keyway. But because of this keyway, if you take a close look, if we can get her to focus here, what a nasty, nasty keyway. So uh, I just had to take this very small serrated tension wrench, give it a little twist, kind of custom make a tension tool and stick it right in the top. Takes a little bit of effort. There we go. Get that thing up in there. And that, that really is the only way we can get tension on this core. If You can tension it from the bottom, but then you can't pick it. Then of course, maybe you can't even tension it from the top. There we go. Alright, so that's about the best we can hope for. Okay, again, I'm going to be using this uh, Peterson medium hook. Come on, cooperate with me this morning, please. There we go. All right, medium hook all the way to the rear, and let's hope for the best. Let's hope for some magic. And some of those ideas that came to me while lying in bed last night might work. I kept starting in the rear, and getting past the warding on this one is quite tricky. This is just a super lock. of activity here. It's about 7.30 in the morning here in Guilin Kirchen. Everybody's going to work. And to be honest, I'm getting ready to go out myself here in about 20 minutes. But you know how it is. There we go. A fault set. One of these locks just gets on your mind. You can't get it off your mind until you either beat it or set it on fire and throw it in a local river. Got a little feedback on pin four. Let's see what we got here. I think we got him. Okay, pin five, little feedback. I think we got him. Okay, we got a good fault set now. Now at this point, I think we're only fighting those nasty T-pins. And the only way that I found effective to do that is just gently move along and touch the pins until you get lucky. Just put a little pressure. Don't over-tension them because then you'll overset something. You're just going to eventually find that one or perhaps two that's hanging out there and then you'll, you'll get, a, get an open. But they, they are some nasty, nasty devils.
I'm just progressively, as each time I go through the stack, I'm just progressively adding just a little more tension, hoping I don't overset something. It feels like pin five. A little feedback. Oh, we got a deeper, deep set now. That's a good thing. There's like a little feedback on two. A2 gave me a little deeper set. Five is really giving me some feedback. There we go. And there we go, open. What a devil of a lock. Anyway, the Vinkaus VS. Um, just be a little bit patient with these. There's only a couple of spools in there, and the rest of them are those nasty uh, small-tipped, I want to call them T-pins. They're not quite the T-pins, the traditional ones that we understand, but you can pick these things, guys. Just be a little bit patient, and don't over-tension or over-put uh, too much pressure on your pick, and eventually you'll work those things into place, and you get an open. Anyway, everybody, thanks for your time. Everybody stay safe. Stay legal.